I love this time of the year. I love summer. I love daylight savings. And something I love that I've really missed for the last few years are the Franklin Road Christmas lights in Ponsonby in central Auckland. You might have something similar that happens where you live too. Hi, I'm Lizzie Oakes, and the Franklin Road Christmas lights are an institution here in Auckland, but it's something that hasn't run for a number of years because of good old COVID. Basically, pretty much most of the residents in this one long road decorate their houses for Christmas from head to toe, well, should I say, from roof to ground and everything else in between. People transform their home facades with lights, nativity scenes, giant blown up festival characters and smatterings of fake snow. Then they'll remain running all month long so you have plenty of chances to check them out or make multiple trips, which is something I used to do when my son was young. There's music playing and people singing Christmas carols and it's a jolly festive experience. You can join the crowds walking up and down the road or you can join in the car convoy and drive down and up the road at five kilometres an hour. Everyone pushes down their windows and goes, oh, did you see that? Isn't that angel at the top of the Christmas tree just gorgeous? Maybe you have something similar that you love to do in your neck of the woods. It could be the Christmas carol service at the local park you love or the drive through nativity at your local church. I know of so many community events that got pushed out of the calendar in recent years. Oh, I remember taking my son Daniel when he was just a wee thing with wide opened excited eyes and a high pitched squeaky voice to the Franklin Road Christmas lights. Look mummy, he yelled. <laughs> we were literally standing in someone's front garden peering through the open sash window of their villa into a festive Christmas scene where a train went around and around a train track in their front lounge. Next to us, a group of carolers were singing Silent Night. It was one of those moments that was just full of the joy and wonder that makes Christmas so special for a little person, and I'll be honest, for a big person too. So this Christmas, now that we are able to do all those things that we possibly have taken for granted in Christmas past, let's join in and make the most of the awesome Christmas activities in our communities and Christmas present. Go grab the hand of your kids or your grandkids and go sit on the hay bale on the back of the truck for the drive through nativity scene. And hey, if there's no little kids around, I give you permission to embrace the big kid inside of you. And go anyway, that's what I intend to do. Merry Christmas, my friend.